A rescue ship carrying nearly 2,000 evacuees from Sudan arrives in Jeddah, welcomed by members of the Saudi Royal Navy. On board are people from 17 countries, including Iran. We have a bus. Back in Port Sudan on the eastern Red Sea coast, thousands are still waiting to leave. 3,000 Yemenis have been stranded here for six days. They say they have no idea if or when they'll be allowed to board one of the ferries. While countries scramble to get their embassy staff and citizens out, intense fighting is taking place in several parts of Khartoum, as the conflict between the Sudanese army and the paramilitary group, the Rapid Support Forces, enters its third week. Both sides say they're making gains, and both blame each other for violating yet another ceasefire. The RSF denies this and says it's taken control of an area south of the capital. The UN envoy has reiterated calls for a permanent end to the violence and issued this warning. Sudan Doctors Union has warned the health system is on the verge of collapse. This hospital is in the city of Umdurman. Those who can stream out of the country, relieved to be out of immediate danger, but uncertain about when it will be safe to return. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Khartoum. Egypt, where authorities say 14,000 Sudanese nationals have entered in the past week. Sudan itself is hosting more than a million refugees, mostly from South Sudan. Many of them are now returning home. The UN has registered about 14,000 returnees and says as many as 125,000 people are on their way. The UN says at least 20,000 people have crossed into Chad, joining the 400,000 Sudanese refugees who were already there. Ahmed Idris reports from the town of Kufrun in Chad. People are in need of shelter, in need of water, in need of food items, and they've been living like that for days. Until the arrival a few days ago by UN agencies and the World Food Programme delivered tons of aid to distribute to the uh, people affected by the crisis and the migration across the river. Now, the World Food Programme budgeted 20,000, budgeted for 20,000 people, uh, the food they have in their stores to deal with the needs of these individuals. However, from all indications, that number is going to outgrow the estimation of the World Food Programme. And currently, the organization, as well as other donor agencies, are struggling to deal with the influx of refugees traveling from Sudan into the eastern part 